Welcome to this JavaScript bootcamp, where you will be able to dive into JavaScript really, really quickly. Or if you already have the JavaScript basics, go into individual topics and broaden your knowledge, train it again, really go deep into JavaScript. I chose a format, which you will see in one of the next lectures, where I'm sure I'm able to highlight individual topics and get you to understand those topics really quickly and therefore share my knowledge really efficiently. But on what will I actually share my knowledge? Well, I got a lot of course content. We'll start with the basics, variables, functions, operators, types, and so on. So all the basics that make up JavaScript. And I will do this in a very condensed and comprehensive way. So that if you're brand new to JavaScript, you will be able to get started with it really quick and understand the core building parts of JavaScript. Thereafter, we'll have a detailed look at types and how JavaScript scope works. Then we'll have a detailed look at arrays since they are kind of a special type or a special object in JavaScript and we'll use arrays quite a lot and JavaScript offers a lot of useful functions uh, to, in conjunction with arrays. Then we'll have a look at JavaScript objects, which is a very important module since JavaScript objects or this object oriented code in JavaScript is a big part of JavaScript and also something people sometimes struggle with, but you will learn it's really easy. And here we will dive into creating objects, using them and what prototypes are and so on. So a really cool module. I'm really looking forward to that. Sometimes though, code just doesn't run the way you want it to run. Therefore, I'll then follow this up with a module on errors and debugging, which shows you how to debug your code, how to find what's causing an error and how to fix it, of course. Thereafter, it's time to have a look at functions. Now I'm already doing this in the basics module, but there are some advanced topics or a little bit more advanced topics. And therefore, this functions module is there to pick up on those topics and dive deeper into functions. Once we're familiar with functions, it's time to have a look at some built-in functions and objects. So some built-in helpers JavaScript offers you and some things you will probably also use quite a lot throughout your applications. And then it's finally time to have a look at the DOM, the document object model. So how to actually work with the web page you're on, how to interact with elements, add new elements, change elements, how to interact with the window, change the location of the web page and so on. So a really cool and core module here, which will also use all the basics, all the things you learned in the other modules before to then apply all that on a real web page. But of course, changing the DOM and so on is cool, but it's not all. You also oftentimes need to react to events. This is why I'll have a whole module on events, which shows you how to listen to events with different, well, approaches, how to handle user events and how, to, how, how events behave and how you can change this behavior. That's before we'll have a look at Ajax, which basically means sending HTTP requests from JavaScript. So without leaving the page or reloading the page, a really important topic, which is used in almost any modern web application, which has some kind of live reloading feature, which means reloading content without reloading the page. And that's what you need Ajax for. And since learning all that is great and you will get tons of examples throughout this modules, it's also great and very important to have a project where those things come together and where you can see how they well work with each other. That as well have a little project at the end where we can see a lot of the things you learn throughout the course. And if that's not enough for you, you'll also find additional information on third party libraries and so on. So some additional content which should really help you get started with JavaScript and continue your journey with it and dive deeper and deeper into it and write cool applications at the end.